160. He's gone. What's up, guys? I'd like to welcome you to the serenity that is my new truck. I just picked up this uh, 2009 GMC Sierra 2500 H uh, about a week ago. And for those of you who know me, you'll know that this is my very, very first vehicle I've ever taken a loan on. This is the uh, the first time I've had something this new or this nice ever. Um, and so I'm super excited and I'm really happy to have a new truck. Uh, the old 5.3 was, was starting to give up the ghost. You know, it was just getting to the point where the projects were getting, you know, in the five, six, seven, eight thousand pound range. And it just, it couldn't quite keep up. And I wanted a heavy duty, and I know on the channel some time back I talked about getting a diesel, but the truth was that it was either going to have a ton of miles and be super beat and still cost me a ton of money, or it was just going to cost me a ton of money. And I realized that I don't really need 20,000 pounds of towing capacity. 14,000 pounds of towing capacity is plenty. So this truck has the LQ4 6 liter engine, it's an 09, so it was, uh, it's got the 6 speed automatic as well, the 6L90E, which is a really tough, really durable box, um, and the truck's only got 70,000 miles on it. And inside, as you can tell, it's black leather, uh, it's got the full, you know, climate, automatic climate control, backup sensors, uh, Bluetooth for the phone. Basically, this was a quad cab, it would be a Denali. I got four wheel drive in here. And so it, it really worked out well for me financially and kind of uh, what I wanted and what I needed. And because it's an extended cab and not a quad cab, it's actually not that much longer than my old truck. And so I feel comfortable driving it around Austin. It fits in parking garages, stuff like that. And you know, for the amount of people that I haul and the dogs and stuff, the extended cab is fine, uh, it's enough. And so, and obviously this one's a little bigger than my, uh, my old truck and the rear windows actually roll down instead of being those weird pop-up things um, and so all in all for the past week at least I've been really really happy with this truck uh, part of the reason I went with the GMC was because I found this specific truck and it was everything I needed so I bought it but part of the reason is you know we're a, always been a GM household um, and to be honest with you, in my opinion, the interiors are hands down the best and the trucks ride the best. The um, considerably best suspension in the front. Um, they just, even with the, with the heavy toe springs and everything, this thing doesn't buck. It just goes down the road. Um, there's no radio, nothing on right now. And we're doing about 40 miles an hour. Um, and it is absolutely serene in here. And that is the biggest thing I wanted. So now let me kind of segue into, I'm gonna give you guys a little walk around of the truck, show you under the hood, under the, under the chassis, give you guys kind of an idea of what she looks like. So here's that. Let's take you guys for a walk around here. Fully loaded. Every fucking feature that you can imagine. Black leather, black on black, extended cab, Roll down windows, short bed, all the towing goodies that you can imagine, uh, rear backup sensors, pretty much anything and everything that you could want out of a 2500 series truck. It's standard 6 liter V8, comes with a 6L90 transmission. So I know some of you are like, okay, Max, what is this video? Is this just like, like you humble bragging? Like, is that, is that what it is? Like, oh, look who's got a shiny new truck. No, this is an introduction video uh, to my new daily driver. I can't leave well enough alone. Um, for an 09, it's really well optioned, but there's still a few things that are, uh, in my opinion, missing here that I, I really don't like that they're missing. And, and we're going to work to uh, kind of fix that. And so there's, there's basically three main subcategories of modifications that we're gonna do to this truck. First one is, it's got Bluetooth, but it's only for talking, it's not for music, uh, which is stupid, but the way it is. Uh, it's got the Bose sound system, which honestly is not very good. Uh, as someone who's always had aftermarket systems, this thing doesn't sound that great in here, uh, which is weird, because it's really quiet and really nice. So you think you'd get a good sound, but uh, the paper shit GM speakers. And because of all of that, the head unit really has to go. And I put some time and thought into it because it's got the uh, the double din unit in here. And I was like, 
I, you know, I want a touch screen, I want navigation, and it'd be cool to have all this stuff. And I started looking around, and it's like a head unit from Pioneer or whatever that, that looks fucking ricey as hell. Uh, is like $1,200 on its own, which is ridiculous. So I did some more digging online. I'm gonna go with a Chinese Android box. It's designed to fit in here perfectly. It comes fully plug and play. A lot of really good reviews. Basically, you can set up Wi-Fi hotspot on your phone and use the native Android apps, or you can actually just push from your phone. So you get a full seven inch touch screen uh, with navigation, Bluetooth, the whole nine yards. This truck has backup sensors, but not a backup camera. I'm gonna install a backup camera as part of the audio video upgrade. Uh, we're going to get some Dynomat. I'm gonna Dynomat the entire inside of this truck while I got everything ripped apart for the wiring. Um, because let's be real here, you know, Dynomat is the shit. And like, this truck is pretty quiet to begin with, but I'm gonna make it as quiet as I can uh, because you always want the inside of your vehicle to be to be uh, a nice quiet place where you can do long trips. Cause I average 20,000 miles a year, which is uh, less than some, but, but quite a bit more than average. And so I spend a lot of time in my truck and I would like my truck to be comfortable and have all the cool audio video stuff that I want. And uh, so we're gonna go with that head unit. I'm gonna replace all four door speakers uh, with Infinity Kappa series speakers or, or whatever the current equivalent of that is. Um, backup camera we're gonna build a custom subwoofer box for the back the floor in here is kind of weird and so I can't store my toolbox like I could in my old truck and so we're gonna build kind of a full width uh, box but what's gonna happen is one side of it is gonna house a 12 inch sub and the other side of it is gonna be empty for storage but it's gonna go across the entirety of the back seat um, underneath the entirety of the back seat so yeah Standard speaker, sub, head unit, amp, general stuff. We're gonna add the backup camera, like I said. Uh, we'll add a, a, a dash cam in here as well, but that's a separate thing. Uh, so prong number two of our three prong plan is performance. Now, I love LS engines, and this is the first time I've had one that's not already beat to shit, and I can actually like bolt some stuff onto it without fearing that it's gonna explode. So let's talk about what we're gonna do with the six liter for performance. The game plan right now is I'm gonna run uh, full length long tube headers, one and seven eighths, an off-road Y pipe, and a full cab back exhaust. I'm gonna get an intake on the engine and we're going to get HP tuners suite. I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. Now I'm gonna finally buy it so I can tune LS vehicles myself. And we're going to drop a nice uh, tune in here. This stock transmission is really, uh, it's a real heavy duty transmission. And so we can, we can bump up the power a little bit without risking damaging that. Furthermore, it'll give the truck a little better sound. Should bring us up to right around 400 rear wheel horsepower, uh, which I think is, is a good place to be. I'm not going to do a cam. I'm not going to do heads. I'm not going to rip the thing apart. Just, uh, just some bolt on mods to kind of get a little, a little more oomph out of it and give the truck a little bit more attitude. So that's part two. Part three, there's a few things I like to change cosmetically. Uh, externally, it looks really nice. I'm gonna add, build a custom set of HID headlights like I did for the other truck. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I did that before I had a YouTube channel, but if you go on like uh, GM full-size truck forums or something, you can still find my write-up and all the pictures on how I did that on the uh, old truck. But I'm gonna do something very, very similar to this truck. Um, I haven't quite decided how I'm gonna do that yet. It's it's by far, so step three, which is further off in the distance. The other thing I wanna do is the inside has this fake walnut wood stuff. I don't know, I don't know what it's for. I mean, it's just trim, but it's like, it looks horrible. It looks plasticky and horrible. Uh, and so I don't like plasticky and horrible. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some 3M vinyl and we're gonna do some wraps in here. Um, and just kind of in general, there's a few things I need to fix. The uh, automatic folding mirrors don't work and it's got the standard mirrors, not the tow mirrors. So I'm gonna see if I'm gonna either upgrade to the tow mirrors or at least fix the motor and the passenger mirror. Um, other than that, everything else on this truck is good. I bought it in good condition. Uh, uh, I would like to do a set of like nicer wheels because this, for whatever reason, for a loaded truck, it's got the standard 17 inch like work truck wheels on it uh, and tires on it so i would like to put on you know maybe 18s maybe a 33 or 35 inch uh tire uh 
you know, we're going to rhino line. I'm going to have the rhino, the bed rhino lined next week. I'm going to uh, ha end up installing a winch and bed lighting into it as well. Uh, full LED complement, kind of all the standard car modder stuff uh, that goes along with it. But I'm really excited. This is the first time I've ever owned, uh, you know, a new truck. Uh, or new truck, right? It's six years old, but you know, to me it's new. Uh, and I'm excited to do do some cool work on stuff that, that isn't all rusty and old and like beat to shit and whatever. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to bring you guys some good videos. The audio video stuff, uh, that's gonna be like about a thousand bucks and probably three or four videos worth of content. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a full custom audio video package on a vehicle, uh, you know, on a budget and, and do it yourself so you know that it's done right. Uh, the performance stuff is looking like another twelve, thirteen hundred dollars and that'll probably be like a two-part series because uh, there's not really much point in making a separate video for an intake install so it'll probably just be the full exhaust and then how you tune a truck. Uh, and then there's gonna be some smaller videos along the way um, but I'm super stoked. I, I already love my truck. Uh, it gets about the same fuel economy that my old one did, maybe a little better on the highway, which is kind of disappointing that this has six gears and still spins 2,000 RPM at, at 80 miles an hour on the highway, but uh, that's kind of what you get with towing gears. I got 373s in the back uh, with a, with a uh, limited slip, so it's, it's, it's got true four-wheel drive. Uh, well, I guess three-wheel drive, but, but I don't know of any truck that comes factory with a front locker in it. Um, but yeah. I'm stoked. I hope you guys are stoked. Sorry if this has been kind of a rambly video, uh, but this is kind of the introduction to my new beast. If you like me, please subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button for me. Uh, make sure you hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Maxworks. Do it. Uh, you can send me questions, snaps, it's fine. Uh, it's open to the public. Um, definitely, definitely check out the Facebook page and the Instagram because we put up uh, all kinds of cool pictures on there way before the videos come out. So if you want to know what I'm doing in real time, uh, Instagram is really uh, the best way to go about it. I love you guys. The channel's been growing pretty steadily and, and hopefully uh, these uh, modern truck builds are going to bring in some more subscribers, some more views. Uh, and so feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know if you got one of these trucks and you've done some mods to it. Uh, let me know uh, how things have gone for you and uh, or if you got some suggestions on what you'd like to see done to this truck you know drop me a line put something in the comments I love you guys peace